What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode, potentially the last episode of Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney Investigations. Right, woo, forgot the name there. Okay, so last time we figured out the true identity of the Autogarasu, which was three people. Detective Bad has been put into custody, as well as Callisto U. And now we're listening, uh, we're not listening. We're probably going to talk about the man who pulls the strings behind the Autogarasu. The man behind the smuggling ring. So now we know who the Yadagarasu really was. And yet there remains much to this case that needs to be resolved. Like how the weapons cross country lines, for example. The two countries have incredibly strict security systems and entry procedures. Short of a miracle, it's impossible for someone to have smuggled them in. Smuggling them in, huh? We'll need to open a new line of investigation on just this aspect alone. But before we do, I'd like to go through my evidence once more. Hey, there's a VCR here, sir. Now we can see what's on that tape Detective Bad gave us. This piece of evidence from the KG-8 incident, hidden from sight for 10 long years. I just know that this is related to the current case somehow. Detective Gumshoe, if you could please play the tape for us. Sure thing, sir. This man, it's Manny Cochin. And he's holding a knife in his hand. This looks like footage from a security camera at the entrance of an apartment building. An apartment building? How do you figure that? Unlike you, I actually read the summary file on the KG-8 incident. A red. And the crime scene was the victim's own apartment. So this footage was shot at the entrance to the victim's own apartment building. At the trial, Mr. Faraday claimed that this piece of footage existed. But no one could find it. Yes. Somehow, someone was able to steal it and hide it through Mr. Ernest Amano. And I can see how this would have been a def uh, definitive piece and why someone would want to hide it. But it's a piece of evidence from a 10-year-old case. There's no way it's related to this case we're working on now, sir. Actually, I believe it has everything to do with the case we're working on now. The ringleader even went so far as to use Mr. Portsman to retrieve it. Which means that in this video lies a very inconvenient bit of footage to the ringleader. Where? Where? Wait, what was that? That bitch you played just now. Please show it to me again. Ah, the good old days of VCR. Ba -da -ba -ba. This car, this is something we cannot overlook. Why is that, sir? Look here, Detective Gumshoe. I bet it's the flag. It's gotta be the flag. Take that! Because it's an embassy car. This is the national flag of the Principality of Kodopia. And because it has the national flag on it, we know this to be an official government car. But the question we should be asking ourselves is what was a government car doing there? Ah, Miss Von Karma and Mr. Edgeworth. So you were here all this time. Ambassador Alba. Thank you very much for continuing the investigation, even at this time of night. Ah, if only I was even a tiny bit more careful. This tragedy would never have happened. I am truly sorry. This wasn't your fault, sir. This had nothing to do with how careful you were. You idiot, Quirkus! Quirkus, I don't know. You couldn't chase after a simple thief! Now then, let's get down to the real reason why I came looking for the two of you. I'd like you to put the investigation on hold for a while. Can you do that? Excuse me? I heard you've apprehended the thief that turned this embassy upside down. And we are in the middle of an event celebrating our country's reconciliation. We can't exactly have the police and detectives walking around here forever. You're scaring the visitors away, so I hope that you can understand how I feel. But we must finish our investigation and resolve the remaining issues. Why don't we leave the rest to the Alabastian and Bavalese police? Ambassador! We're so close! Just a little more and... Miss Von Karma, I'm afraid I've made up my mind. 
And without my permission, you can't proceed with your investigation anyway, right? That's true, but... As he said at the very beginning, this area could be considered to be Alabastian soil. In which case, we are nothing but foreigners in their land. Is this really where our investigation ends? Shifu, we found Mr. Edgeworth's Ark. Yo, just got a hole in my leg. No big deal. I can walk just fine. What a man. Agent Lang, you're back on the scene rather quickly. If I laid back and took a break, I'd lose my scent on my prey. Of my prey, Mr. P. Agent Lang, why in the... Why have you returned? Because I have to solve this case no matter what. Well, I'm sorry to inform you. Ah, and don't take this the wrong way. I don't suspect you personally. But a member of Interpol was just found to be a thief, and so... Under these circumstances, I wish to put your investigation on hold. After all, I believe our own police can handle things from here. They are quite capable. At this rate, our investigation really will come to a close. <laughs> Ambassador Alba, I get it now. I really do. Oh? I'm very glad you understand how I feel. No, not that. What I was talking about is... I know who the killer is behind tonight's murder. You know... The... Killer? Do you really mean that, Agent Lang? Wolves don't lie. Why would a wolf... That doesn't make sense. Wolves don't talk, so why would they lie? I don't know. What are you talking about, man? Then who is it? Well, let me first say that I'm not talking about Mr. Cochin's murder. That was all she knew. Lang Shi says, The truth lies not at the exit, but rather shines outside the maze itself. The truth is unexpectedly simple. So let me ask you this. Who do you think was Damask 2's killer? I'll tell you who. It was you, Francisca Von... What? Come on now. I was the killer. But that's impossible. Yeah. Although, that whip is actually quite... Hold your tongue in that ludicrous remark you were about to make. Agent Lang, are you seriously accusing her of murder? Yeah, I am. He doesn't appear to be joking. Hey, sis, I remember that just before Ambassador Alba went to give his speech. He called you into his office, right? Yes, he did. But what does that have to do with anything? I'm getting to that. Furthermore, in order to solve both cases, you moved around rather freely between Alabast and Babal, did you not? Objection! And where is your evidence that I'm the killer? I was just getting to that. Trust me, I'll show you them in two. Uh, I'll show them to you in due time. Ambassador Alba, in order for me to bring this case to a close, I'll need to inspect your office one more time. Will you grant me permission? With things as they are, I suppose I don't have much of a choice, do I? Good. Then let's move out. Oh, and don't even think about running away, sis. My pack will be keeping a close eye on you. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. As if I would have any reason to flee. But just so we're clear, your logic had better be sound. Because I'll accept nothing short of a perfect explanation. She seems rather upset. Not that I blame her. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I expected that you'd accept no less. But we'll see how long you can keep that nose of yours stuck up in the air like that. Hold it. Agent Lang, as someone related to tonight's case, I request that you allow me to take part. And so that I may clean up my superior's mess. I guess I should. The more the merrier, especially when it's the peanut gallery. In that case, I want to join in too. I still haven't seen what it looks like in Alabast yet. 
if you let Kay in, then you've gotta let me in too, pal. I can't sit around and do nothing when Miss Von Karma's in trouble. Hey, Gummy, let's have a competition to see who can save her first, okay? Okay, I'll take you up on that. Oh, I'm fired up and ready to go. As a detective, I don't believe this is something you're supposed to be excited over. <laughs> Sounds like this is gonna get real interesting. Ambassador Alba, I'll be bringing these kids along for the ride. Very well. But I'd like you to keep in mind that this will be your last chance. I'll have this whole mess cleaned up before you know it. Now let's go. Wow, this came out of nowhere. I thought the game was gonna end. Okay now, let's first go over the facts one more time. Manny Cochin's body was found over in the Secretariat's office in Babal. The weapon that took his life was one of Alibas' ornamental knives. And then, the body of Damask II, Mr. Kashi No, was found here in the Alabastian Ambassador's office. Through our investigation, we found that the murder weapon was this Primaduck statue. And that this is actually Babal's statue. This case, no matter how I look at it. Sis, if it wasn't you, then there's no one else who could have pulled this off. Agent Lang, do you understand the full implications of what you're saying? Of course I do, sis, and I'm serious. You were on the trail of the smuggling ring, and you wanted any evidence you could find. And so, while people were distracted by the Autogorossus' appearance, you snuck in here. That's when you two ran into each other. You and that other thief who took advantage of the confusion from the fire. Even if all that were true, how do you explain the movement of the weapons? Don't worry, I plan to show that you're the culprit behind that too. You had permission to investigate both embassies at will. With that kind of free reign, you could have easily taken the weapons across country lines. Hey now! Look sis, I thought I already told you, I'm not messing around here. This case isn't directly tied to the smuggling ring. But she not certainly is tied to the smuggling ring. He is right in saying that she is a member of the smuggling ring. But the connection between this case and the ring... Could it not be deeper than what any of us can imagine? Let's get this ridiculous circus over with already. Francisca, you need to calm the hell down. Because only- uh, you only know the facts of the Alabastian side of the case. I don't believe you can see the case as a whole and therefore solve it. What?! But don't worry! I am taking this seriously as well, and I will prove your innocence. That's the only way to be, Mr. P. But can you come up with anything else that can top my hypothesis? Of course, your explanation has to solve the mystery of the moving weapons as well. Of course, and I will. Let us now delve into the truth behind the murder of Damas II. You do understand, don't you, Mel Miles Edgeworth? This isn't just a confrontation against Agent Lang. If you can't figure out how the murder of Damask II is related to the smuggling ring, then it will mean the end of our investigation. As long as I have no good counter-argument to his hypothesis, then the best I can do is walk this thin, tight rope and see what I can do. Come on, Mr. P, let's get started. Yes, let's. Border Crossing Weapons one of Alabas's knives was used in Babal to murder Mr. Cochin. And the murder weapon in the killing of Damask II is Babal's Primaduck statue. Somehow these two objects were able to penetrate the two countries' impenetrable security. The only one who traversed the two countries just before and after the crime was you. So as long as I can't explain how the weapons moved about, Francisco will remain a suspect. You got it, Mr. P. So why don't you stop giving me a hard time? Under these circumstances, who the heck can carry a weapon across country lines? That's why you put it in a coat and throw it into the water. I've walked through every possibility, but there's only one that's plausible. Your boss. Agent Lang, what I've learned from you just now is that you've lost sight of yourself. 
What you talking about? By focusing too intently on that which is right in front of us, we've become blind to the pancakes. Don't tell me Lang she never said anything to that effect. You prosecutor. Who do you think you are speaking about Lang Shi's proverbs like that? I don't need his proverbs. Because my words are all you will need to see the pancakes. Used in... the ball to murder, okay? I concur that this knife crossed over country lines. Good, but that's not the only thing that I... Uh, that did. We mustn't forget about the other weapon. The knife was... The knife was only one. Right, right, right. And the murder weapon in the killing of Damask II is Babal's Primadoc statue. Hold it! So you're saying that the Primadoc statue was also brought over by Francisca? Like I told you before, that's the only way it makes sense. Hold it! And how exactly did she bring it over? I haven't figured that out yet. That's a rather weak statement considering how sure you are. Maybe, but there's one thing I do know for sure. Somehow, these two objects were able to penetrate the two countries' impenetrable security. Hold it! Impenetrable? I should hardly think so. You've seen the top of the wall between the two countries, right? Who in the world could cross over that? Yeah, not even I can climb over that thing with all that barbed wire. The only way into either embassy is through the doors in the Theatrum Neutralis. So the only way for the knife and the Prima Duck statue to traverse the two countries is through those security camera equipped, well-guarded doors. The only one who traversed the two countries just before and after the crimes was you. Hold it. Was Francisca really the only person to have traveled between the two countries? According to the guards at both doors, she is the only one to go back and forth. The sis there was all an... Wait, the sis there was an olivost when the Onigarasu showed. And then, just before you guys found Mr. Cochin's body, she entered Babal. I think we can assume that's when she brought the knife into Babal. Objection! Then how do you explain the Prima Duck statue? I haven't quite figured that out yet. But the fact that the two weapons crossed the border proves that the killer must have also traveled across the country lines. Hmm, the only things to cross the border are the Prima Duck statue and the knife. I should hardly think that those are the only two items, Agent Lang. One of Alavoth's knives was used in the- wait. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Let's see what evidence we have left. So we have the knife, statue, counterfeit bills. What is this now? What is this? The smuggling of ink, okay. Hmm, passion flowers. Two large flowers in bloom. Hey! Are those chopsticks? Uh, 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 those those look like um the the um the the head hairpins, the hairpins. But how is that important? I don't know yet. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find. Miss Oldbag took and ate a few from the dressing room for samurai dogs. There's the guitar pick for the jam and ninja, which is wet. Damask's note. Hmm. What else do we have? The photo. Wire. We really do have a lot of evidence we can still try presenting. Alright, let's see here. So which statement is the best one to choose? Murder weapon. Penetrate the security. Here we go. This must be this one. Only who only the only one who traversed the two countries. Okay. Uh let's see. There's the note. There's Damask's note. We can try presenting. Okay, that, apparently that's not it. Hmm, shoot. See, ah, uh, this is what I needed to present. Because the fact is, not only was one statue moved from the other, to the other side, but both statues were swapped. So that's what I need to present. Real sneaky. Agent Lang, those two items are not the only two to cross the border tonight. Oh? 
Damask II was killed with Babal's Primaduck statue, yes. But if that's the case, then tell me, where did Alabas' Primaduck statue go? To Babal. Precisely. And if the two statues really were switched, then this means that both statues were smuggled across the border at some point. Which means that a total of three items were smuggled across the embassies. Hmm, I guess so. But you know what? It doesn't matter the number of items, only that the Sis is the only one who could have done it. Because the only person who went back and forth between Alabast and Babal is her. Is that really true? Was there no one else who traveled between the two countries? Actually, there was definitely another person. One who paid a visit to both sides of the wall. Is that really so, Agent Lang? What a lousy time to try and bluff your way out of this. I checked out what the guard said, along with the security camera's footage. You're not going to overturn my hypothesis that easily. But suppose there was some other way, other than through the theater doors. What other way? The other entity that managed to cross the border unharmed. If I pointed out, it would open up a whole new possibility. And though I hesitate to bring this out, as long as this entity exists, the impossible road becomes a possibility. It looks like you've got some clever idea in mind. I do, and I can show it to you through a single piece of evidence. Fine then. Let's see this piece of evidence that will show me the other route. The picture, the picture! The picture! Take that. Boom. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!